In this video, I will show you another example of maximum power transfer theorem. Find the value of RL for which the maximum power will be delivered to the load. Also find the value of maximum power that is delivered to the load. See, this is our given circuit. This is our load resistor RL. Here we have to find the value of RL for which it will receive the maximum power. Also, we have to calculate that value of maximum power. From maximum power transfer theorem, we know that a load resistor RL receives maximum power if the value of load resistor is equal to the Thevenin resistance of the circuit and the value of maximum power will be equal to Vth square over 4 R T H. Now see, this is our A terminal and this is B terminal. If I can calculate Thevenin resistance and Thevenin voltage, I can calculate the value of R L for which for which the circuit will deliver maximum power to the load and the value of maximum power. To calculate R T H and V T H, at first we have to remove the load resistor. RL from the network. If I remove the load resistor RL, I will get a circuit like this. Now, at first I will calculate RTH within this A and B terminals. When I will be calculating RTH, I will replace this voltage source with short circuit, this current source with open circuit, this voltage source with short circuit. If I replace the voltage sources with short circuits and current sources with open circuit I will get a circuit like this now see with respect to this A and this B terminals we will have 60 ohm 40 ohm and this 80 ohm connected in series therefore their equivalent series resistance will be equal to 80 plus 40 plus 60 equal to 180 ohm now see this 180 ohm will be in parallel with this 40 ohm resistor so the Thevenin resistance in the circuit rth will be equal to the equivalent parallel resistance of 40 and 180 ohm from which i can write 40 into 180 over 40 plus 180 I will get RTH equal to 32.72 ohm. So, if the value of load resistor RL is equal to 32.72, that will receive maximum power from the network. After that, we will calculate VTH. We will calculate VTH across this terminal and this terminal. If you look at the circuit, you may use your intuition to calculate vth you may use mesh analysis in the circuit you may use super mesh you may use superposition theorem but what i can see that if i use source transformation theorem in the circuit that will make our circuit analysis lot more easier how will we apply source transformation theorem you will see this is a current source of 0.5 ampere it is connected in parallel with a resistance of 120 ohm from the source transformation theorem we know that when we have a current source in parallel with a resistance we can convert that current source to a voltage source v s in series with that resistance here rs will be equal to 120 ohm here vs will be equal to is which is equal to 0 0.5 and rs is equal to 120 so this will be 60 volt and with this 60 volt the resistance of 120 volt will be in series now what will be the polarity of vs see here this current source is supplying current in this direction so the positive terminal of Vs will be in upward direction and negative terminal will be in downward direction such that 
the Vs will supply the current at this point. So if I replace the current source with a voltage source in series with 120 ohm resistor, I will get a circuit like this and with respect to these two terminals, the voltage will be Vth. Now look here, this will be a mesh. This will be another mesh. In mesh or loop number two, the closed loop current I2 will be equal to zero. Therefore, the current that will be flowing through this 40 ohm resistance will be the current in mesh or loop 1. So if I assume the current that is flowing through loop 1 is equal to I1, you will see this terminal will be positive, this terminal will be negative. This terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative, this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative. See, as I2 is equal to 0, Let's say this is positive terminal, this is negative terminal. I can apply mesh analysis or case PL or Keshov's voltage law in mesh 1. You'll see I will get plus 60 minus I into 120 minus 5 minus I into 40 minus I into 60 equal to 0. Sorry, this is I1. This will be I1 and this will be I1. From which I will get I1 is equal to 55 over 220, which is equal to 0. Point 0.25 ampere okay so i1 is equal to 0 0.25 ampere now see the current in mesh 2 is equal to 0 if i apply the shop's voltage law in mesh 2 i will get minus 40 i2 minus i1 although the value of i2 is equal to 0 minus vth minus 3 equal to 0 here you will see i will get 40 i1 or 40 into 0 0.25 minus 3 is equal to vth from which i will get Vth equal to 10 minus 3 equal to 7 volt. So in this circuit, thevenin voltage is 7 volt. Therefore, the maximum value of power PL max is equal to Vth square over 4 RTH. Vth is, is 7. So this will be 7 square over 4 into RTH. RTH is equal to Thirty two point seven two. So this will be equal to zero point three seven four watt. Okay, that's it. Thank you.